I've sat in a lot of movie cars and TV cars, but I've never sat in a Batman, an original Batman. And I know. And this may impress a few people, especially those who grew up with a lot of the animated Batmans. The voice actor, Kevin yeah. Conroy. Now, there's, there's no pull, so I'm just kind of giving you guys a heads up. There's nothing to pull you it. Pull. Oh, you would, yeah, I would pull on that. Yeah. And that looks like it's out of a Corvette from a 70. Here's another pull cool thing. Pick up the Batman. Where's that? Right here? Let's see. All right, so now we're in the Batmobile, and I have the Bat phone right here, and I would call you, but whoever I didn't call would be upset that you weren't the ones I called. So. Whoever got this call right now, whoever I'm speaking to, you just won this Batmobile. So welcome to another episode of Junkyards and Barn Finds with Sean and I'm Sean. Hey guys, thanks for watching part one. This is now part two of our trip to Desertland and the car collection that's here. So here's one of the movie cars that's outside and uh, this is from the movie cars obviously, but we're gonna see a whole bunch more of movie cars and other car collections while we're here. So if you haven't checked out the other parts or some of the other Desertland videos we put up, check it out. Cause this is a huge collection. This guy bought a mall just to keep his car collection, a mall, and it's filled. So come along with us if you haven't seen part one, go watch part one. If you haven't seen some of the collections like the James Bond collection or anything, go check those out and come in and watch this one. Thanks, see you shortly. Hard. Wow, second best to me because I like James Bond better, but <laughs> very cool though. All right. And this is this museum guys one of the things i like about this museum is they do have rooms so that if you have a favorite you can get to that room fairly quickly now we have five vehicles from three different batmans uh so inside the cave is the one from the 66 adam west tv show okay then we have a 1969 adam west movie the difference and some people look over this but there is a difference between the TV show and the movie, and the easiest way is the emblem. So if you notice this one's got a white outline around the emblem. Okay. Well, that one still has a solid red. Okay. That is TV show, that's movie. And then we have one and two from the Michael Keaton film, the 89 film. All right, so this is a Michael Keaton one here. And then what's the other? And that's that, a Michael Keaton? Now, that, this one's technically half of one. Okay. This was a prop designed for the very narrow, narrow alleyway scene where the sides of the back of the bat vehicle would actually pop off right the wheels would then fold in and right. it could go to the narrow alleyway oh wow yes so that actually is a vehicle it was designed on a motorcycle chassis unfortunately they didn't work properly so if you go back and watch this scene where it goes to the narrow alleyway, right the afterburner that was on the back was a real afterburner the issue was that would have have a lifespan of about maybe 30 seconds right. before everything around it melted. Right. And due to the fact that you couldn't actually get someone in there to drive these properly, they had to tow these through that alleyway. Gotcha. And so they built three. They don't, and they only had three chances to do that scene flawlessly. However, the first one they pulled through was such a success they didn't even need the other two. Oh, nice. Yep. And then the last vehicle we have is from a Batman. It's actually the, it's the real third Batman Who's Val Kilmer? And this is the Val Kilmer Batman Forever. He was then replaced by George Clooney in 2000. 
Then it became Christian Bale, right. then Ben Affleck, currently Robert Pattinson, with the Flash film that's about to come out. We're going to go right. back to Michael Keaton. And there's rumors speculating we may go back to George Clooney after that to kind of give him a redemption film. And I really right. hope they do, because he deserves it. Wow. Very cool. And now for the last vehicle you can consider. This is everyone's dream. Who just not want to be back? All right, guys. Now this is cool. So I have no, look at this. Look at how thick the door. Now is this a George Barris built one? It oh. is a contracted by Warner Brothers. All right. So let me just tell you, to come, the gas miles to get here, my lunch to pay for this, driving two and a half hours to get to this museum this morning, trying to get here for the last three months for you guys, since I heard about this museum, and the entry fee and everything is worth doing this because I've never ever sat and I've sat in a lot of movie cars and TV cars but I've never sat in a Batman an original Batman and, and I know this may impress a few people especially those who grew up with a lot of the animated Batman the voice actor Kevin yeah. Conroy now, there's, there's no pull, so I'm just kind of giving you guys a heads up. There's nothing to pull it. Pull oh, you would, yeah, I would pull on that. Yeah. And that looks like it's out of a Corvette from a 70s. Here's another pull thing. Pick up the back Where's that? Right here? Yeah. Let's see. There's nothing to talk to. It's solid. There's nothing to talk to, but it, it, you can mimic that you're talking to. Oh, yeah. So this is pretty. All right, so now we're in the Batmobile. And I have the bat phone right here, and I would call you, but whoever I didn't call would be upset that you weren't the ones I called. So, whoever got this call right now, whoever I'm speaking to, you just won this Batmobile. <laughs> See, there's a giveaway. So, if you were the person on the phone I just spoke to, you just won yourself a Batmobile. Should have been near your phone. Got to be, got to pay attention, guys. Look at that, though. And it's funny that it has the screens and stuff in it. Even though you don't really see a lot of this stuff ever on camera, it does have, like, the feel that they... Oh, I don't want to touch... I don't want anything to hit something. But, um... Yeah, I guess they'll... I guess they must be a little shorter than me, though. Actually... Maybe not. I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. It's just, um... But the cool thing is, too, if you look through the glass of the Batmobile here, if we're looking through it, even though it's a concave, I, I guess, what, Pyrex or something, but uh, it doesn't have any warpage. You can see straight through, because normally something like this, it would be hard to see through. So somebody gave a lot of thought to this. All right, I'm going to get out, because I don't want to touch, scratch, or hurt anything. This, oh. Yep, I don't want to touch that wheel because it seems to be a little loose. Maybe it was made that way, or maybe that's the horn. I don't know. Now, what's this got for under an engine for the engine? Do you know? I don't know because okay. the way that the hoods were designed were electronically open. Oh, okay. So, so this one can see underneath it. Wow. Well, guys, you want to be the best? Well, I don't know how old you have to be to be able to get to sit in that. Uh, so, any age can sit in here um, if they get the VIP package. So if you have a, a young son, not too young, but they can sit in here. The right. one rule is just don't mess with the shifter. Right, right. Um, so if they want to get a picture, they, they, can, can, they, they can, can come. come yeah. So this as long is as they buy the VIP package. Right. That's what I'm saying with the VIP package, guys. If you have somebody uh, you know, who loves Batman and everything else, they can come. And this is kind of typical. Yep. So, um, one more room. we're going James to one more, and that's okay. Now, I gotta say, this is my favorite room because I got to sit into this one.
Gotham Police Department, Crown Vic, with the Joker in the back. Should they subscribe to this channel even if they don't like cars today for this one? Probably just for this one. 